also, uh, I'm going to recap everything because um, <coughs> the camera's playing up. So this is my big syringe which I use for injecting gear oil into the uh, gearbox. Um, works quite well, but it seems it's best if you fill it up from the bottle rather than sucking it up th through the spout. Maybe the seal um, to the uh, plunger inside isn't really quite quite good enough. Anyway, inserting the uh, oil into the gearbox eventually was quite quite a good um, method, but it still results in a heck of a lot of clearing up because gearbox oil is pretty nasty stuff actually. You can't just wipe it off, you have to use lots of tissues. <sighs> anyway, next. Right, this camera's playing up something rotten, but just as a quick recap, and if you'll excuse the occasional magpie noise outside. So, uh, yeah, filled up the gearbox, tighten up the uh, filling plug. My temporary gearbox mounting, rear gearbox mounting, is in the way of the panelling, this piece of wood. So I'm going to have to remove that, and as luck would have it, in the last few minutes, the uh, gearbox mounting, or the mounting I'm going to use for the gearbox, has actually turned up. And it's remarkably similar to the engine mountings. My... what will be rear gearbox mounting, which is in actual fact a Land Rover engine mounting, which is funnily enough the same thing that is supporting the engine on this setup. Now this contrasts somewhat with the original RX-8 gearbox mounting which I have here, and the reason for that is this, this is the plate which bolts on the underneath in three places. Um, but the reason I want to do that is because the this gearbox mounting is rather deep from there to there and it would hang down underneath the car. So this one, if I can rig it up in a suitable way, should be uh, quite a bit shallower than that. That's my hope anyway. So that's my cardboard aided, aided design. Basically I want a a plate, the same shape as this plate from the original gearbox from the uh, uh, Mazda RX-8 with an extra bit over here. So that's what I have made and I shall now offer it up to see, well for a start I think I, just, I, think I can probably cut this corner off. Do that for start, so let's see how well that fits. So this is the original RX-8 gearbox mounting, which goes bolts on under there, and this piece, which follows the same pattern, the other way up, goes in, therefore, in here, and looks like yeah, this is way too big at the minute. So let's cut that down. Right. So that goes in under here. So the objective is that I can get the mounting rubber to bolt through just here. with the thread just clear of the gearbox. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon that will do for a Mark 1. A bit of a recap. So this is the original Mazda RX-8 gearbox mounting. Uh, it's a pity I don't seem to be able to use it. I don't know how it's used in the Mazda, but there's nothing nothing to bolt this thing to. It appears to be a kind of a square 
hollow box, metal box filled with rubber. I mean, it's lovely in its way, but there's nothing to fix it onto the chassis with. So it's a bit of a mystery how that works on the Mazda. It must be some sort of clamp arrangement, I suppose. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this top plate um, in some six millimeter steel. Um, so with, with an extra piece on the side, so then I can drill a hole in the extra bit and mount this uh, Land Rover. It's actually a gearbox mounting rubber, uh, so I can fix that on the side. Um, that's what, so it doesn't have to penetrate inside the, the gearbox itself, um, and that will be then fixed to the underneath the chassis. So I'm going to cut this out in a, in a moment. I've already got my cardboard template um, and uh, I've marked it out on here and I've cut it with a cutting disc. However, there's just one other thing which I, I wanted to mention, which is, I was a bit concerned. Oh, here is my, here is my template actually. Let's get myself in. Now here's the, the template which demonstrates how, how it's fixed to the underneath the gearbox, what it should do. I think my jack has relaxed while I was away, so to speak. Template goes in under here. I can never remember which way around it is. And uh, the sticky out piece that you can see is what bolts to the, mount, uh, the rubber mounting. But I was a bit concerned about this section here, whether it would actually be touching the chassis. Uh, you can see it isn't at the moment. That's all. It's a function of how high up the, um, the gearbox is sitting. So the obvious thing to do, I think, is to put a spirit level on the top of the gearbox and uh, check that it uh, is level. Now it isn't quite level, it actually needs to come up very slightly further. Um, I think I'll need to relieve a little bit more of the of the panel just here. But my point is, and the concern that I had before about there not being enough clearance between here and here is obviously there isn't a problem there. I'll easily get my finger in there. So uh, that should be fine. So I've donned my latest PPE mask. <clears throat> yes, I'm going to cut this, uh, cut this piece out with my 0.8mm cutting uh, disc from Wix. Okay, so here's my blank piece. Here is the uh, pattern that I'm using. Uh, so I just need to drill some holes in it. And I'll start like this. First find a pen that actually works. Okay then. Just three holes. I may be able to cheat actually with this thing. Here's my centre punch. There is my chuck key. Here is my chuck key. Possibly a bit over the top to centre pop this. Right. So that's my initial cutting. So that should match this, which it seems to do okay. Right, having obtained some suitable sized screws, I can bolt this thing under the gearbox here. This is a peculiar screw that I found. 
because it seems to be an M8 with an 12 millimeter head, which as far as I'm concerned is an illegal size. And I can confirm that they do indeed line up. What we're doing is sighting the hole for the actual engine mounting rubber. So that bolted on to the bottom of the gearbox quite nicely and I just need to choose a place for this rubber mounting to go. And there's any number of places it, it could go as long as it, the thread doesn't either um, interfere with the bottom of the gearbox or indeed the rubber part or the metal parts of the rubber um, mounting this hard disc course shouldn't touch the uh, chassis obviously we're trying to eliminate any uh, vibrations it's looking like there is a good place I just need to mark it which is not that easy to do actually all right so I can now take this off again and hopefully I shall be able to find the position of the hole. Of course this is only half a battle. This is the mounting to the underneath of the gearbox. But we also need a mounting to the underside of the chassis. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's uh, pretty good. So I marked the um, kind of lint, Latin long as it were. So we have there, which isn't, doesn't need to be so, so accurate at this stage, is it's the combination of the upper and lower mounting, which determine the exact position of the gearbox in the chassis. So it looks like the hole should indeed go about here. Right, so this is almost okay. So the plate is mounted on the underneath. The mounting comes up through a hole here. But uh, as you'll see, it doesn't want to sit flat in there. And that's because the bolt that holds it, this part of the plate on is interfering with the base of the of the mounting so unfortunately that that position won't do it will have to come further back so as to clear it so i think yes it's gonna have to go quite a bit further back actually it's not quite done up tight at the moment so i shall rectify that why is it the ratchet is always the wrong way? It's correct now. No, it's the wrong one. So the hole needs to be further back. So I need to mark it again and drill it again. And one thing that is quite useful is that the tail of the gearbox tapers here. And so uh, they may be less concerned about the bolt hitting the underneath of the gearbox. So I can mount it more centrally than I could before. It's kind of annoying that you couldn't go there, but no matter. So we can put it on a line there. So it's moved over by a good half inch. So I'll try that again then. This is my gearbox mounting. Um, I've already put on these flanges each side. This is a sheet of uh, three millimeter thick steel bolted on as you can see in several places. Six in, uh, in all. 
and it's connected to a Land Rover engine mounting uh, rubber bobbin thing and uh, in it goes and that should result in the whole of the back of the gearbox Right, that's my mounting plate and there's a large nut that goes on the bottom of the um, of the engine mounting plate and it's of course able to be shimmed. I can put spaces in there to raise the back up back of it up. I put sp spaces underneath the mounting bracket if I should want to lower it down again. So that's the uh, that's the engine mounted completely. Wow.